Greetings from my kitchen table this morning. I'm going to write a blog post using ChatGPT in Promptimizer, Promptimizer.com, uh, as fast as possible. So let's dive in. I'm actually going to do a post a little bit longer, I think, like a long form tutorial, how to make cold brew coffee. I'm actually just going to copy that. Uh, in Promptimizer, I'm actually going to make sure I have my right website selected. Do you even coffee? This will basically pull in my details to ChatGPT so that it knows my brand, my style, my uh, you know my audience, my avatar, and that sort of thing. So I, I got my brand selected, and I'm creating a new post. So I'm gonna paste this in. I think the AI is pretty much gonna know the basic steps for making cold brew coffee. So I really just want this is what makes Promptimizer special for me personally. It is going to be my post, Pete's voice, Pete's style, the way Pete makes cold brew coffee. And so I just have to prime the AI with that. I have to make it accurate. This also helps fool, you know, AI content detection generators or whatever. So I just need to put in my thoughts and opinions that the AI might not know. So I'm going to say my preferred filter is the coffee sock. That's actually what it's called. It's cheap and available on Amazon. It uh, works great and is easy to clean. There we go. I, um, I usually make a stronger concentrated cold brew and sit it in the fridge for 24 hours before diluting. And then I'll put, I prefer a uh, 1 to 10 coffee to water ratio, though most people use 1 to 8. Okay, that's pretty much, I think that's good, right? Coffee and water. Um, okay, now I'm going to grab some FAQs. It doesn't have to be questions, really. I'm actually just going to like type this into Google. Go to... Google. I guess I could just do that. There we go. I'm going to grab some FAQs here. Could also just be subtopics that I know I want to include in the post just to make sure that this article ends up being thorough. So I'll probably, okay, how about grind size? What grind size is best for cold brew? Um, what's the best filter maybe? Like I'm looking like equipment. Like what's the best cold brew equipment slash filter. I'll just like I'll just put it that way. I'll hit submit and work into chat G P T. So I got my custom prompts over here, but the default prompts, I'm just gonna like run through these first three in chat GPT. Basically what these do is just prime the AI with my brand information as well as the post information that I that I just entered. Right? And I am just command clicking or control clicking on Windows just to instantly send these, but you could also just like click to copy and then, you know, paste in the thing down here. So um, let's just create the, I always create the outline first and I'll put it in this Google Doc actually, just to kind of reference it. You can always edit the outline a little bit if you wanted to as well, although it usually does a good job since I've already done, I've already done the heavy lifting on this blog post. I entered in the facts and facts and now I just gonna kind of like click prompts and let chat GPT do the rest of the heavy lifting. So it will take a minute or two to do the outline. Actually, there it is. So I'm gonna click to copy and put that up in here just for, again, I'm just gonna like reference this later. Also, I don't like these sentences. So I'm gonna do write the intro, but I'm gonna tell it to only return the content. So I'm gonna say, write the intro be funny and personable, which is my brand style in general. I just figured I'd say that one more time. Um, use markdown formatting and only return the content. Cool. So I'm going to give this a second to go. Uh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm actually, I have something in Promptimizer, um, this new Google app script, which will basically, I'm just going to be pasting stuff in here and I'm going to paste it unformatted like it's going to be in markdown formatting you don't even have to know what that is but i don't want that obviously i want like h2s and like bullet point lists and whatever so i have this uh script right here which is long and fancy and complicated but really you just gotta like copy it and i'm gonna go ahead and add it in here 
add us in a Google Apps Script. Let's just like paste it in there. Now we're good. Hit save. And I'm not gonna run it just yet. I'll do a little bit more. Like I don't have my content in there yet. So I'll just, I'm just gonna like leave that open. Okay. Um, so here's my intro. <laughs> Grab your coffee beans. Okay, fine. It did what I asked it to. It didn't return the, uh, what's it called? Like the, the sure, I will do that, etc. So I'm actually just gonna do write the next section. I'm just gonna command click right there and let chat GPT, what is the next section? What is cold brew coffee? I see. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. And um, another, see like this hashtag right here, I don't even have to worry about, like that'll be an H1 tag. In fact, I can go ahead and do that now. Let's just do that. Uh, let's do, there's actually two scripts in here. Usually I run them both at the same time and I can do that at the very end. But for now, let's just do convert markdown, hit run. Oh yeah, I forgot. I always gotta do this. Every time, Google, why? Just gonna authorize this to edit that document. Execution started, execution complete, and now it's an H1 tag. And if I wanted to, which I'm, I don't yet, because I'm just gonna paste in more stuff, I could remove like all these like line breaks and stuff, extra lines. What is cold brew coffee? That looks pretty good. So let's add that in there and let's do write the next section. Let that generate. And then this is, I'm pretty much just gonna like follow this through to the very end. It does take a hot minute. Promptimizer actually doesn't show it um, word for word as it's generated. You can't do that with the OpenAI API to my knowledge. So it just kind of does it in bulk right there and that's fine. How can I make cold brew with regular coffee? Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna put this at the end, but for now, I'll just like paste it down here. So I did that and I did that. That's my outline here. I'm just, I'm just writing notes to myself. All this is gonna be deleted automatically when I run my script. But what is the ratio? I want like a how-to. Let's do, uh, let's just do this. How about this? Add a new section called how to make cold brew coffee step by step. How about that? Because I didn't actually, how long ago we grind test? Ratio, what ratio? Yeah, I didn't actually uh, include that in the outline and I kind of want that in here. So I'll just do that. And you know what, let's go ahead and do this again. Let's go run. Just so I have my H2 tag. I just like to do that so I can see things a little better. Don't have to. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do this other one too. Um, let's go delete blank paragraphs. And there we go. You see, like this is so much better. This is ready to go into WordPress now. I could just like copy and paste straight into WordPress. All the headers are here. You can see my outlines are here. Um, oh, this is the, my outlines. I meant my bullet points, sorry. Okay, so let's uh, grab this one. Is that long enough? I feel like I want it a little longer. Actually, it's not bad. I, I just wanna talk about my, uh, can I make a regular copy? Let's do that one at the end instead. Let's put that one here. Uh, what's next? What is the ratio? How long to group copy at home? What grind size is best? So I actually just want to write this section. Um, the coffee sock. Let's do that. Uh, skip ahead and write and write this section. And I'll just paste in that right there. And another thing I'm going to do is grab the actual details uh, from Amazon. Coffee sock. <laughs> I own the cold brew one which is, it looks like this is a cold brew filter. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what size I have. That doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just gonna like grab this stuff actually about this item. Da, 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 da. Um, once this is done, I'm actually, I have a custom prompt up here that's like rewrite that last section with the following in mind. So I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna copy that. There's my, there's my thing. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna copy in this guy Doop. Ooh, that's long. Long and ugly. Mm. I'm probably getting close to my um, chat GPT, like history, context limit. You know what I mean? What do they call that? Content look back or whatever. It's only 4,000 tokens, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully they update that or uh, upgrade that. So after this, I'm actually going to do the rest of this as an FAQ section, I feel like. Like these could be H2s, that's eh, not bad. I have a feeling this is already, 
Um, pretty good. That's probably like 800 words or something. Do work count. 898, and that includes like this stuff here at the end. That's probably like 800 words. Doesn't matter. Let's go to run all scripts. Hit run here. And uh, just make room for my other content. Let's go back. Oh, look at this. All right, perfect. What's the best cold brew equipment filter? Done. Oh, and I did see it actually did V. We don't want the number there. I don't know why I did that. Cool. Um, let's do, let's just do a, maybe like an FAQ section. I think I have some default prompts. Maybe I don't, maybe I should include one. Oh, let's just do this. Write a short FAQ section with the questions as H2 tags. How about that? And we'll just see what it comes up with. And my favorite prompt, which I've saved for last. Um, I'm, let's make sure it actually hits home some of these points when it generates right here. Um, I love this prompt, which I actually should add as a default prompt in Promptimizer. Basically, it just says, hey, what is this article missing? How can I make it better? It never fails to bring me something like a new idea that could actually make the article better, which I find really interesting. I'm uh, approaching my limit here, but that's okay. It still works. It just doesn't pull in quite as much context. Uh, cold brew and iced coffee. Ooh, that's a good one. How long does cold brew last in the fridge? Coffee water ratio. There we go. Some people brew a little weaker. I think I'll actually... Um, Update that. Let's do that. I'm going to run my app script again just to like format, clean things up. Um, oh, it didn't click that. There we go. Oh, you know what? I don't know why it didn't uh, convert markdown. There we go. That's weird. I don't know. Something's funky going on there. So I got my FAQs. It did most of this. How long? Grind size? Did it do grind size? Add one more FAQ. Add one more FAQ about grind size. It's going to say like medium course or something. Add one more FAQ about grind size. Yeah, it's probably fine. Um, other than that, this is probably pretty good. I've got my, I got this. I don't really care about conclusions. You could do that if you wanted to. I don't really need like word counts per se. I don't think I do. Anyways, um, let's try this again. Just to clean this up. Got my post here, tools, word count, about 1,300 words, eh, it's a little light. Um, I gotta, instead of just copying this entire thing, I'm actually just gonna grab that part of it. Come down here, can I do that? Oh, I knew it was gonna do that. It doesn't matter. There we go, now I got my thing here. And then, how about this? Uh, what else am I missing from this article? What would make this post better? Question mark. The AI usually comes back with this like sentence about, hey, I'm an AI, you can't trust me. I don't exactly know what I'm talking about. I'm a robot. Uh, and then it proceeds to give me actual you know, advice. <laughs> it's like, I gotta make sure that this person understands that I don't actually know what's best, but you know, let me pretend that I do know best. Actually, I didn't even say that. Uh, benefits of using cold brew coffee. Cold brew recipe variations. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, Homebrew, home, home cold brew tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Store it properly. Pairings, cocktails. Oh, that would be an interesting one. How about this? Um, write a very short section on recipe variations. Basically, I just want this. Right? Uh, we'll just see what it comes up with. These are all pretty good ideas, um, but I don't think these are really necessary. Uh, I want this to be a little bit longer. Rewrite that to be a little bit longer, but with more details. And I think this is going to be it. I'm just going to leave it at this. Uh, 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes. Could have been a little bit faster, I feel like. I don't feel like I'm really missing anything. I'm not actually not sure. Um, I don't know. I think I'm okay. It's not perfect. I do want to like reread my uh, coffee socks section. Where is that section? What's the best cold brew filter equipment? There we go. The coffee sock. Um, the coffee sock. Highest quality, reusable. Okay, so it did that. That's some great content. That's pretty good. 
Look at this. This is actually kind of fun. We'll just put that down here. Do that. And then let's go to convert the markdown and delete blank paragraphs. And there is my blog post. Now I'm good. I could legit just copy and paste this entire thing to WordPress. It's probably going to be about 1,400 words. 1,600 words. Okay. That's not terrible. I might go through and add some pictures, some bold text. I didn't actually bold very much. Usually it ends up bolding a little bit. It doesn't matter. I think that's pretty much it. So, promptomizer.com. I will uh, promote. Um, I don't feel bad in promoting it at all. You can try it for free as well. Promptomizer.com. Go figure that out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that was interesting uh, to see in action. I would spend about eh, maybe like 10, 15 more minutes editing this and adding in a little bit of my own voice here and there. Other than that, I think it's actually a pretty good post. It's actually not terrible. I hope that was enjoyable. Check you later, YouTube. Hit me up in the comments if you want to see more like example walkthrough bits like this. That's all I got.